Phase relationships are useful when we're talking about two waves meeting, okay? It is described as the stage an oscillation has reached in its cycle. Now, if that sounds a bit of a mouthful, let's try and break it down a little bit. We have here a wave uh, reaching a certain point. And if a wave, uh, if I like to imagine this as a sort of roller coaster, so if you have a little dude sit here sitting on his roller coaster cart, at this point here, he's going to be going up. So we can have another wave that's coming in from a slightly different angle, okay? So it's going in, and it's going to reach this point coming at an up, okay? So here, both these waves are arriving in phase, the up and the roller coaster. So at that stage in its cycle, they are arriving, and they are said to be in phase, okay? Now, if two waves were to meet, and one was going up, and one was going down, the opposite, then we would say they are antiphase. So I'm going to draw over the top of this red line. So let's see, there's our wave. So these two waves here, the green one and the red one, are arriving in antiphase. Exactly the wrong point. Okay, so this dude in the red roller coaster would be going up, and at this cycle here, it'd be going down. Okay, so before we have another look at that, let's look at describing what one wave is equal to, okay, or in terms of describing one wave. So we all know that that's a wavelength, okay, that point from here to here is one wavelength, but we can also describe it in terms of the time, the, time, the length of time that one wave takes, this is known as the period, which has the symbol T. Uh, we can also describe it in terms of degrees. One wave is said to be equivalent to 360 degrees. The last one is for the more mathematically inclined of us. We can describe one wave as two pi radians. Okay. Now, these are equivalent to one wave. So if the wave, if the path difference, which you can also see a video about on this channel, is equivalent to either the time period, the wavelength, 360 degrees, or 2 pi radians, then they will arrive in phase. But if the waves are antiphase, it means they're arriving at exactly the opposite points in the cycle, like these two waves here, then they will superpose. This is what's called when two waves meet and they will interfere destructively. They meet in phase at the same point, so another wave going along here, meeting both at an up in the cycle, would be interfering constructively, but here they will interfere destructively. So this is equivalent to uh, being out of phase or anti-phase. And in terms of a description of this, we would say these waves are out of phase by half a wavelength, or half a time period, or 180 degrees, or half of this would be pi radians, okay? So this is two waves that have superposed antiphase because they are out of phase by half a wavelength, or half a time period, or 180 degrees, or pi radians. Thank you very much. Right, two waves add together by superposition, and the resultant wave is the sum of their displacement. So here we see two waves traveling towards each other, and because they both got positive values, when they meet or superpose, you add the displacements together, and you get a resultant wave which is bigger. Uh, here's another one. You can see a red wave and a blue wave traveling in opposite directions. So this could be uh, could create a standing wave, which they are. Uh, and you can see when they meet, at certain points when they're both on an up, when they're both at the same in-phase part of their cycle, uh, you get a resultant wave that's large. Here's another example. Uh, on the top, you see the two waves traveling in opposite directions, and on the bottom, you see what happens when they meet. Because one wave is positive and one wave is negative, at a certain point when they're both superimposed over each other, then you'll get uh, the waves superposing and interfering destructively because they're in an so, when they both meet with positive values, we get constructive interference. You add the sum of the displacements and you get a larger wave. When they are meeting, when they're uh, opposite values, so if they're displacements or amplitudes, if you want, uh, they meet, uh, they're, all, they're an opposite, one's positive, one's negative, you'll get destructive interference. That's what happens in noise cancelling headphones.